Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over what materials I use to make my son's garbage truck Halloween costume and some of the tips and tricks I use to make it come together pretty nicely. So the base is actually really simple. I started off with two recycled regular cardboard boxes. One was from his car seat and the other one was from a pack of diapers. I bought some yellow paint from the hardware store and my mom actually was the one who painted it yellow for me. I believe she did two or three coats to fully cover the cardboard from showing through. I added a white stripe and used some painter's tape to get the straight edge. Next I repeated the steps with the painter's tape to add a thin black line outlining the white stripe. I took measurements to get the right paper size for the layout of the details on the garbage truck. For this I went with 12 by 18 cardstock paper. I looked online to find high quality pictures of the windshield, grill, and headlights. There were no good pictures or angles of the side view of the truck, so one day my son and I went out for a bike ride and chased the garbage truck around the neighborhood until we got our own pictures. I then laid out these pictures on the computer and used the ruler feature on Microsoft Pages to get the exact size to make the details proportionate. I made sure to take note of the features on the garbage truck like the license plate, city and county logo, reflectors, and so on. I used wood glue because it seems to work better to bind thick cardstock to cardboard. I've used Elmer's glue in the past, but it doesn't seem to stick as long, so I wouldn't recommend it for something that you will be using more than one time. I kept the garbage truck a surprise from my son and hyped him up about it the day before I revealed it to him. He's pretty obsessed with trucks right now, and it was between building him a garbage truck or a bus costume. I was really happy that he noticed the small details, and it made me feel like all that hard work and efforts were worth it in the end. All in all, I would say it took about 5-10 to 10 hours of work to build up the garbage truck. As for the uniform, it came together pretty quickly. I just put him in some jeans, an orange long sleeve t-shirt, and a reflective vest. What really made it come together were the finishing accessories like the safety glasses, earplugs, and of course the bling bling gold chain that a lot of the construction workers or truck drivers here in Hawaii like to wear. Originally, I wanted a rope chain for him but couldn't find that type, so we ended up settling on the link chain which looked pretty good in the pictures. So there you have it. That's Banyan's Halloween costume for 2020. I really love Halloween and I'm super happy I'm able to do this. And I hope he can look back on these memories one day with a smile on his face. Keep watching if you want to see his reaction to his costume. Hey Banyan, you ready to go see your garbage truck? <laughs> you ready to go see it? Mama. Through here? Alright, let's go.